And that's one of the things that you want to be in a marriage relationship is a cheerleader. You want to just let the person know you're great. I love the character qualities in you. I love how you do this. Thank you. You never take the basics for granted. There's 20 key words that I try to get across to couples. And they are these. I was wrong. That's a bummer. I hate to say that. <laughs> I was wrong. You were right. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. I love you. Thank you. You say those words in a marriage, you will do well. And the other thing that I want to mention too is that the heart of a marriage relationship, there's many different types of intimacy. There's the sexual, the social, the intellectual, the recreational, but at the heart of a marriage is the spiritual intimacy. The relationship that you have with the Lord, with God, and how you bring that together and you're able to talk about that, you're able to pray together, to share together, that, from my perspective, is foundational. What the scripture says is that we were created in the image of God. And when you marry another person, you probably didn't think about this, but you need to look at them and say, there is God's image. And your calling in marriage is to behave and act and love in such a way that you allow that person to fully reflect that image of God within their life. This listening means you're not thinking about what you're going to say when your spouse stops talking. You're totally tuned in. I mean, the other person can tell that you're not listening when you're just, you know, trying to do things like this. Now just sit back and relax. And instead of answering right away, you might say, that's interesting. It's discovering the personalities of one another. That's one of the things that we talk about so much is that um, if you learn the other person's personality, then you'll be able to learn how to speak their language because when you marry somebody, um, you married a foreigner. You speak different languages. And I've seen so many couples where they're talking past one another over the years. They've never learned how to match the communication style of the other person. And that is not only critical in marriage, that is critical in business because basically people like to talk to other people who speak the same language style.